Welcome back. It is time for our Farmer Once a Wife recap. Uh, Natalie, come on in because you were telling me last week uh, your, your family, like your sisters. Uh, my in-laws. Your in-laws. I, I don't know if my sisters are watching this, oh, but okay. one of my best friends also loves this show. Okay, because I was doing it last week and you yelled at me like, my family loves this show. <laughs> I need to watch it. It's good. <laughs> so, Julie. Why am I late on this? Here's what's great is her husband reminded her that we do a recap. I didn't even tell yes. her. So her and her husband watched it last night. Now tell me what you told me, this, tell the viewers what you told me I this love morning. That. Well, we're not usually um, the reality TV or the dating things. We are. We're watching, <laughs> we're watching this just, you know, because I wanted to be up to speed on it. We're watching it and we're, we looked at each other and we're like, we can watch this. Really? <laughs> we like this. <laughs> That's so I, awesome. I think we're addicted already. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> hey, I need to take you into the girls' bathroom over here because somebody has placed one of the farmers there. And in the bathroom? Every time I walk in, I think there's a man standing <laughs> in the girls' bathroom. I, it's Alan. 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 Oh. Oh, gosh. Yes. See, oh. Every Alan. time it scares me. I'm like, I know he's there now, but. <laughs> Uh, well, in, in week two, now all of the ladies, they've picked the five ladies, they go to their respective farms in different parts of the country, uh, and now the farmers have to put the ladies to work on the farm. Okay. Well, if you call this work, it's more like playtime. Okay. Right. I mean, come on. So here, let's take a look at some of the action uh, on the farm. This is Landon's farm in Stillwater, Oklahoma. This is With my friend's favorite. In, it's time for the farmers yes. to show them their life and see how they fit into it. I've never really had any help. Not for everyone. I've always said I don't need a ranch hand. I need someone who's willing to help me on the ranch, and that's extremely important. Oh, there's a lot. So we get to do today. There's five each is now. Feed them hay, but the uh, the fun part is you get to push it out by hand. How many times a day do you do this? A few times a week, but I thought it'd be a little more interesting to make you guys do it. <laughs> I just know right. working on a farm is much I'm harder than what they're. Absolutely. So I'm really Showing. excited to get that going. And how but cute is she? Is a button? No. There's no real easy way. Push them down. Oh no. You guys have to push against the cows. Against the cows? Oh, oh yeah. All right, let's go. Are they all over here? Watch out, cows! Don't this does kind of look fun, though. <laughs> so, did each farmer pick out? Yes, like five. five. OK. <laughs> and on the very first episode, I believe it was Alan picked somebody of the, like, 30 girls, and she said, I'm out of here, and she left. I don't okay. think you're going to get hay <laughs> That's out why of your for three washes. You can pet any cow that will let you. I got one. You got one? And he does have a favorite one cow, which I think is adorable one. because. Blanca. And it and is adorable. It is adorable. <laughs> like, look, look at this beautiful cow. It's like a champagne color. <laughs> I'm like, I got a kick out of the girl calling it the curly cow. Yes, the curly cow. <laughs> with the animals, you know, anyone who's that good with animals is probably going to be that good with kids, and that's very important. He's already thinking well, kids. Yeah. He hasn't picked a wife yet. <laughs> he's all like, I need some kids. But he's right. If you're good with pets. That's true. I mean. <laughs> So I find it fascinating. They go and they, they work on the farm. Because working on a farm, we all know, is a lot of hard work. Oh, it's, and it's so hard. It's getting up early like we get up early. You know, you have to get up early. It looked cool there. They should take them out when it's like 110. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're or pushing hay. Or below yeah. zero in snow. <laughs> yes, like exactly. That. Yeah. So yeah. on this episode, basically, they each go back to their farms. They work the farm, get the experience. Mm -hmm. Then they get a note maybe three quarters of the way through the episode that says, oh, by the way, now you have to eliminate somebody tonight. Okay. So, <clears throat> again, why I like this show, I was telling Julie this morning, is they do break the fourth wall a lot. Mm -hmm. So in that first episode, a producer came on to ask Alan if he was okay because he was acting kind of quiet and like, this is TV, you got to talk. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I'm not made for reality TV. And I'm like, but you're on a show. Anyway, something's going to happen here at the end of the episode, but I'll first show you two of the four farmers what they did, and then we'll fill you in. Spoiler alert if you have not watched last week's episode. But let's take a look at two of the farmers and how they decided to handle get ridding, get, getting rid of one of the, the women. Landon is the first farmer to Landon's share his back. decision. I'm obviously struggling with this because it's like, how do you find fault in any of you? They're all so I would hate competing against that many people. In different ways. So we haven't had much time. And with Landon, a oh, big part of me her. wants to believe that I'm good, but I know he's connecting with the other girls as well. There's always like an insecurity because you just don't know. Ashley R, I uh, like her. So I have not gotten to know you all well enough on almost any personal level. You guys are okay with it. I'll just have all five of you stay. Oh, <laughs> yay. I agree with that message. I yes. Thank you, boy. 
Well, what so, at the end, if he does that, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Are we in Utah? <laughs> also made up his mind. Okay, now we're to Alan. People Alan's. that don't know me really well don't really understand me because I think I'm a little bit different. So that's I a little bit nerve wracking. I think she is too. So we got the letter today, and it's kind of getting that time. It's a really tough decision. Sloan, I, I just don't, I just don't feel that connection between us, and um, oh. you know, I think, that's sad. I think it's time uh, to send you home, and I'm, I'm truly sorry. Has he become less awkward on TV? Um, not, I say, okay, more talkative. You. Right. Okay. Fine. I still wouldn't say he's a, a bachelor type personality. Sure. You know. Yeah. yeah. He, he's a good old boy, and still you know, very reserved. Yeah. Where's his? Where's he at? Oh where's gosh, now farm? I can't remember where his farm is. It's on his big thing, like his big statue that we have. I can't oh, I'll look in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, so those were two. So Alan, Landon kept all of them. Alan sent one home. Mm -hmm. The other two did exactly what Landon did. They all they kept everybody. Right. So three of the four farmers actually kept all five. Because I'll be honest too, you don't have that much time to get to know somebody. No. And if you are, like I've said, love is not blind. That show on Netflix is not true because <laughs> If you're looking at somebody, you make a connection with them, you have to be attracted to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, there has to be a spark. So he, they could be attracted to all these ladies, but need to get to know them now. Yeah. So, but here's what happened. This is another part that I love about this reality show. That all happens. Well, on Hunter's farm, Hunter kept everybody. Uh -huh. And Landon kept everybody. At the end, one of the girls, Megan, on Hunter's farm, leaves and goes to this field. And she's sobbing, crying. Oh. Just like having almost like a breakdown a little okay. bit. So Hunter goes out to comfort her and is like, Megan, what's the matter? She basically says, I don't feel this is real. I feel this is all staged. Oh. I don't belong here. And I'm surprised Fox left that in because it's yeah. a reality show. She goes, I am not made for reality TV. I don't like, what else was she saying, Julie? Yeah, just how she, she didn't feel like she was comfortable in it. And for me, that was what might have been what drew, really drew us in is it seemed more real. Yeah. Because yeah. she was real and raw and they let and, her be that way. Yeah, and she was crying. She just basically yeah. said, I think this is staged. I don't, I'm not a reality star. I came here to find love, but this TV aspect is so not for me. So did she leave or yeah. did she so stay? I think, well. She said on there, she said, I want to go home. Okay. Yeah, so it kind of ended right there. So I think we'll know more. I think she did end up leaving, mm -hmm. but we'll know more tomorrow night. Right. Do you think maybe they're keeping people because they just need more ranch hands? <laughs> That's a thought. <laughs> Natalie, I like the There's way you There's like think. a big, you know, I don't know, cattle drive coming up, and they're like, all hands on deck. We need it. I got five lovely coming. ladies. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, I, I'm telling you, I'm in it. Julie and her husband are now in it. you got to get into it, Natalie. Okay, Just I saying. will, I will. And a new episode of Farmer Went to Wife tomorrow night, right after an all-new mass Singer right here on Fox. Don't go anywhere. We're going to catch up with uh, Julie and I Pour Life right after this. They kept it real. They did. Yeah, I couldn't believe they left.